Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys the things that I picked up for the spring and the summer. Not too many things, just a handful of some things that I got from Zara and Target and Amazon. Um, a little bit about me in case you're new here. I am a minimalist. That's in the sense of my home decor as well as my style. I have a very minimalist wardrobe. I'm not big on prints or lots of colors. I like lots of neutral colors and pieces that are simple yet chic that can be paired to make a bunch of different outfits. So my closet is not over full and stuffed with a whole bunch of clothes that I don't wear. I wear everything that I own and I mix and match things so that a lot of times I'm wearing the same things over and over again, but you never know because of the way that I style the pieces in my closet. But I'm gonna be showing you guys the things that I purchased as well as give you guys a look at my walk-in closet in my new apartment and my other closet. Yes, I have two closets. I'm going to show you guys what's in them and how I organize them. So stay tuned. So I'm going to start with the pieces that I got from Zara, starting with a couple of basics. And I got this really cute, simple bralette top. I love crop tops, y'all. I'm 40 years old and I'm still going to wear my crop tops because I have the body to rock it. And as long as I have the body to rock it, I'm going to wear them and I'll make them look chic and classy. Never trashy. But yes, I got this simple bralette. And I'm very small busted, so I love little tops like this where I don't have to wear a bra with them and I can use them as a bra or as a layering piece under blazers and blouses and jackets. And I'm going to try this stuff on for you guys so you can see how it looks, but I got that bralette. And I also got this basic crop tank. I love white tank tops. Or as in my old hood, they call them wife beaters, but I prefer to call them just tank tops these days. And this one is cropped and not super short, but cropped enough. And it has a racer tank style. And I also purchased this white button down top. I bought this shirt last year as well. However, somehow it got damaged in my move. So I bought another one. It's a basic poplin top, a white poplin cotton blouse. And I bought a size large for an oversized fit so I can just wear it uh, open like a jacket or tied up or tucked into pants or out. Just a very nice basic white top. Next from Zara, I got these high waist khaki pants. I also purchased these pants last year, but I had to return them as I purchased a size large because I'm usually a size large in Zara pants, but they were, big, they were very large in the waist and I was planning to get them taken in. However, I noticed that they were just extremely large and I had lost more weight so I ended up taking them back. So this time I purchased a medium and they actually fit perfectly now. So I'm glad that I didn't waste money getting the large taper. And I don't know if Zara is just a little bit more generous with their sizing now. I know I did lose a fair amount of weight but I could never get into a medium in Zara pants. And now these pants I have, I had to repurchase the black pair in medium because my large was too large. And I have the gray pair and now I have this khaki pair. And I really want to get the royal blue pair because, you know, Zeta. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking to purchase the royal blue pair as well. These high waist denim mom shorts from Zara, my cousin actually gave them to me. She purchased them and they were too large for her and she held on to them too long. So she just passed them along to me. And these are a size six. I don't know how I'm able to get my booty into them, but I am. They're a little large in the waist, but I don't think they're large enough for me to have to take them in. But I love these shorts because they're high in the waist. They're not super short and they just look so cute. Another piece from Zara, this white short sleeve button down linen blend. 
top and I really love the gold button details on that top like it is so cute and the cuff sleeves it has the gold button details on it as well and the two pockets are really cute and I'm planning to wear this top like kind of open with maybe a lace bra and no bra under it and just let it kind of blossom <laughs> if you know what I mean but I really love that short sleeve linen blend top and the theme of the pieces that I purchased for summer you'll notice is linen because I don't really have any linen pieces and linen is comfortable and cool in the sun in the summer but linen also looks like so chic and it can be sexy too like I really wanted to add some linen pieces to my closet because that's what it was missing so you'll see that that's the theme of my haul and those are all the pieces that I got from Zara now from Amazon I just purchased a bodysuit a simple white bodysuit it's like almost a scuba material I have this bodysuit that I purchased last spring in like a brown caramel color and it is so comfortable like it sucks everything in and unless it's really cool like your nipples don't really show through but it's like very slimming and very fitted it's a scuba material like i said and it's pretty cool and it just sucks everything in now the difference between the bodysuit i bought last year this one has a thong bottom if i remember correctly the other one i bought don't have a thong bottom but the bodysuit has a double layer and what they changed for the good from last year is last year's bodysuit it had a half like the lining i'll show you guys what i mean let me turn it inside out the lining on the inside is a half piece and it was like that in the front and the back with the last bodysuit I bought but this one they actually made it a full lining in the front which means you don't have that piece showing where the lining cuts off and I really love that change so I'm now going to get this bodysuit with some more colors and don't worry I'm going to link everything for you guys and like I said I'm going to try everything on. But that's a really nice basic bodysuit that you can wear with like jeans and skirts and shorts. And like even if you're going to work, you can put it on like under your blazers and pair it with your suits and whatnot. A very basic but good quality inexpensive bodysuit. Now I'm going to show you guys the pieces that I got from Target. Starting with these little linen shorts. And I say little because they are little, like they're kind of, they're high waist shorts and they're longer in the front, but they're a little short and wide in the back. So if you bend over, you might be showing some cheeks. Now the shorts run, I say on the large side, I'm usually a size medium. I had to get a small and they're still very generous and they're sizing and the quality is so good for Target. It has the little pocket in the back and then it has pockets in the front like I love side pockets because I like to put my hands in my pocket but the quality is very good like it's nice thick but not too thick material and it has the elastic waistband that actually works like if you pull it the waistband works it's not just for show which is important for me because my waist is small even getting these in a size small they're still kind of large in the waist so I have to pull it in but I couldn't go to extra small because my cheeks will be out hunty out so the small works perfectly and to go with the shorts i got the matching linen <clears throat> top and it's a very relaxed oversized fit i actually got a size medium i probably could have going with a large but being that I'm wearing it with the shorts I didn't want it too oversized to be overbearing with the shorts and I like that the shirt is pretty long in the back because if I wear it open with the shorts it'll cover my cheeks and my booty won't be hanging out much but I do plan to wear the outfit different ways like with the shirt tied up or the shirt open or the shirt tucked for that romper look and that little bralette crop top that I got from Zara is going to look so cute under this short set. That's going to be the perfect fit. I can't wait to show y'all. But yes, 
That's the linen short set that I got from Target. And I chose this olive green color because it's a nice neutral. I like the way it looks against my skin tone. And like it's a nice change from the white and the brown and the black and the cream that I wear. Your basic neutrals. But I don't have much olive green in my closet right now. So that's why I chose the olive green color for that set. Some more pieces that I got from Target. I actually bought these pieces as a set, but they're separate from different Target brands, but they go so well together. I cannot wait to show y'all. Let me start with the top. So I got this black short sleeve linen blend top from Universal Thread. And it's like a boxy, oversized fit, but not overbearing. Like, I was able to get a medium. It fits very well. <clears throat> it's kind of short, but not short enough that you can't wear it out. But it's that length that goes perfectly with high-waist pieces, like high-waist shorts and high-waist jeans. And it just lays comfortably. The neck is kind of open. It's a little low-cut, not super low-cut, but low-cut enough to show off, like, your little necklaces and whatnot in the summer. And that's also a linen blend. And the material is thick. It's not heavy. Like it won't be hot, but it don't, it doesn't feel thin or cheap. Like it's nice quality, especially coming from Target. I'm surprised. I love me some Target. I get a lot of pieces from Target, but I'm noticing over the years, like the quality has really come up some more. And the top has like these flips on the side, so they look really cute when you're wearing it out by itself. And then I got this black linen blend mini skirt. Now, these are separate, but they look so good together as if I bought them as a set. And the skirt is from A New Day. And I had to get the skirt in a size small because it runs really big. In order for it to fit in my waist, I had to get a size small. I'm noticing I have it on a hanger backwards. But it has a little side split on the thigh. It fits so good. The skirt is not really stretchy at all. So like you have to buy it to like fit. Try to fit your waist and your hips. And I was able to do that with a size small, surprisingly, because I thought I was going to have to send it back. And when I saw it on sale, I just grabbed it. And I purchased all of this stuff online, guys, which I tend to purchase stuff online a lot. And sometimes I absolutely hate it because, like, I'm built in a way that I really need to try stuff on because stuff don't fit and I always have to take it back. But everything I purchased in this haul, I was able to get in one shot, meaning I purchased it, it fit, I didn't have to return or exchange anything and I'm so excited about that. But yes, those pieces from Target, the top universal thread, size medium, and the skirt, a new day, size small, separate pieces to make the perfect little linen skirt set. And that is it for my haul. Let me try all of these things on for you guys so I can put them in a closet and then give y'all a tour of my closet. So this is the linen skirt set from Target, y'all. I'm calling it a set because it looks like it was made together. And that's that black short sleeve top. You see it has a slightly oversized fit, but not overbearing. It blossoms nicely out of the skirt. And I told you guys I got the skirt in a size small. And it fits my waist perfectly, yet it still fits my hips. And it flatters my behind. It has those seams in the back. It's short, but it's not too short. And it's not too tight, which I love. It just fits perfectly. Absolutely amazing. Like, I love this set. And I can pair the top with some denim shorts or some jeans. And I can also wear the skirt with, like, crop tops or other pieces. So these pieces are going to get a lot of wear for the rest of spring and for this summer. Really love those pieces. So this is the olive green linen short set from Target, and I love this set as well. The waist, I'm going to tighten that a little more. As I told you guys, although I got the shorts in the size small, the waist is still on the big side. But it's a very relaxed fit. Although the shorts is short, it's still very relaxed. And the top is a relaxed fit, and like I said, it covers my bottom, and I'm wearing it with that bralette from Zara, and I have the sleeves rolled a bit just 
for that laid back chill chic look. This will look really cute for brunch, for barbecues, for everywhere. And I'm going to take off the top for a minute so I can show you guys how the shorts fit. And you can see they're very relaxed. They are short. I have them pulled all the way up on my waist and pulled extra tight. But if you, if I show you the back, and I show you the back, you'll see how short they are. Like they're boxy. They're not tight. They're really short. And if you like bend, I ain't gonna bend too much. But if you bend over, your booty cheeks gonna be out. So if you're not comfortable with that, these shorts may not be for you. But I'm okay with that. And. Like I said, when I put on the top, the top covers my behind, so nothing is hanging out, but you still got to be careful if you bend. But I love this set, and I cannot believe that it came from Target, and this little bralette from Zara goes perfectly with this set. It's going to look real good under this cream blazer I have with, like... A high waist midi skirt, a jean, a denim midi skirt. That's what I need. I couldn't find one yet, but I'm going to find me one. But I feel like this top would look really cute with like a high waist midi skirt. But I'm <laughs> getting off subject. You talking about this little short set right now. But I love this short set. I love the color. I love the fit. It is everything. And these pieces are also going to get a lot of wear from me for the next two seasons. Next, I'm wearing the Zara white short sleeve linen button down with the denim mob shorts. And that is so cute together as well. But these are separates that are going to go with everything this summer. I have a couple of denim shorts, but my other ones are shorter and tighter than these. So I know these will be getting a lot of wear. And this top is just so cute. It looks so good with the gold jewelry. I like it like this. I have the top button open and I have no bra on and no bralette under it. And it looks sexy. Like, I really love that look. I'll be wearing this for skirts jeans pants you name it like i love this top and these shorts they're cute like i said they're a little big in the waist but not too much to get them taken and i can deal with that but i love those shorts i like the little rips i love the color of the denim and the fading and they suck everything in i'm a little bloated right now but the shorts still sucking everything and it has a denim panel in it i usually don't like denim panels i prefer a zipper because these are too much work but the paneling is like really sucking in my little fupa i've been losing weight but i still have a little fupa but that top this top also comes in olive green. The olive green was sold out. I love to get it, but I got that other top in olive green, so I don't know, but the white is perfect. The white will go with everything. I just love those pieces so far. I'm loving everything that I chose for the spring and the summer. And I threw on the Zara white racer back crop tank real quick with the shorts so you guys can see what that tank looks like. And you can see how the shorts are kind of large in the waist. I might be able to actually take these in myself instead of getting them tailored. I can probably just put two little tacks in the waist. We'll see. But I can see how much bigger they are when I actually have one like a tank top instead of a top tucked thin. That's the racer back tank. Very simple. Can be worn with jeans, short skirts. Or as a layering piece. I love simple, basic tees and tanks and bodysuits that can be layered and worn with different looks. So this is the Amazon bodysuit with the Zara high waist cropped trousers. This is a size medium. I do not have on the right underwear right now, so you can see my panty lines. And this bodysuit is a thong. And you can kind of see the lines a little bit, but if I was wearing this bodysuit with these pants, like the panty lines wouldn't be visible. It would be perfect. And those pants fit really well. I just better not gain more than about three to five pounds, which I'm not planning to. I'm actually still trying to, well, not really lose anything. I'm trying to maintain my weight and just tone up some more. But this bodysuit fits so well to suck everything in. And it is showing 
my nipples i'm not garish about my nipples showing i honestly don't care but if you're one of them people that don't like your nipples showing you can put nipple covers under it i wouldn't really be a bra with this because the material it's like that scuba material i feel like you'll see all the bra lines but nipple covers should be perfect but these pants i told you guys i'm bloated right now and they still fit well tighter than they usually are but it's sucking in my fupa it's sucking in everything and they fit, fit good through the hips and i like the fact that the pockets are sewn shut because if they were open then they'll be gaping because of my hips and i don't like that so i love my pockets sewn shut on my black pair the pockets are opening up and i'm going to get take them to get them closed back up because i don't want them open and i'm going to show you the length on these so you can see how crap they are on me they come to the ankle and i'm five five but I really love the way these pants fit and these pants you can wear them to work you can wear them to brunch you can wear them like out like I know they are trousers they're supposed to be like dressy but these are the kind of pants especially in this khaki color that you can just wear with everything like you can even put on sneakers with them if you want to not my thing I put on some flat sandals before I wear sneakers but I love the fit of those pants they fit so good and I took off the white bodysuit and just threw on the white button down really quickly so I can show you guys how that white button down looks. And I just tucked it into the pants. It's an oversized fit. Like I said, I got a size large and it can be worn tucked in or I can take it out and tie it into a crop top. Matter of fact, I'll show you guys how that looks really quickly too. Like if I wanted to tie it into a crop top i pull up the back like that and like that's a low crop or i unbutton all the buttons you do that without <laughs> revealing anything and just pull it into a high crop like the shirt is so versatile it can be worn in many different ways i did that a little sloppy but you guys get the point fix that in the back to you guys but yeah i would fix it better than that but i'm just trying to show you guys really quickly how you can wear the top in different ways and like i said it's all cotton I think it's all cotton. I got to double check. But a basic white poplin top that goes with everything. And the material is very comfortable and cool for the spring and the summer. And that is all the pieces that I bought for spring and summer. I'm going to put everything in my closet. And I'm going to give you guys a tour of my walk-in closet and my other closet. All right, y'all, so I put all the clothes away and now I'm going to take you guys on a little tour of my walk-in closet and show you guys how I organize everything. So this is my walk-in closet. It's not very large, but it's the perfect amount of space to fit all of my clothes. Literally everything is in here. I don't have to pack away seasonal clothes and pull out the winter sweaters. Like everything is in here for all seasons and it's packed away nicely and there's room for everything. So come on in so I can show you guys. On the left hand side of my closet on the top I have these rat and storage bins where I store things like um, my shoe cleaner and leather conditioner, uh, clothing hooks, that's within the first one and the second one there's like uh, I believe like storage pouches, travel pouches for beauty products and whatnot. And then the other one, there are head wraps and scarves and whatnot. On the top shelf, I have shirts and blouses and my closet actually have racks that go all the way around. We're gonna get to the other side, but I have shirts and blouses here and I have everything organized by color and then sleeve length 
in shirt length like the instance the first section the tops are cream and that's that bralette that i just purchased from zara and then there's this cream crop top and then there's another cream crop top but this one is a short sleeve blouse so that one comes next and then i have this cream long sleeve sheer blouse then after cream i have white and those are the tops that I purchased from Zara. As you can see, I didn't have any more white tops. So I was due for some more white tops. And I may get a few more because I love white button downs. Then after that, we have the black tops. And we have sleeveless camis. Then that black linen short sleeve top that I just purchased. A black satin long sleeve top. And this black sheer top that I love. It's one of my favorites. And I only paid like five bucks. For that top then we have a denim top and that olive green linen top that i just got from target and on the other side of the rack are my blazers i love blazers and my adidas tracksuit jacket that i also have the pants to but I have a yellow blazer, a cream blazer, a black blazer, a chocolate brown blazer, and a camel blazer. And a lot of my blazers come from Zara. I love them, especially when they're on sale because they are very good quality and inexpensive and they last for years. And I love oversized blazers. So that's my little blazer collection. I want an olive green blazer and another herringbone blazer because I used to have one and I wore it to death. On the next shelf on the left are pants and jeans and shorts. And these are my dress pants. And then I have some four leather leggings that I wear to death when it's cold outside. Ain't no shame in my game. Some cargo pants and my track pants to my adidas tracksuit and then i have my jeans and i'm missing about four pairs right now because i took them to the tailor to get the waist taken in as the jeans were in nearly new condition and fit perfect everywhere else but the waist was too large so i figured i'd just embed, invest in getting them tailored instead of having to buy new jeans since they were nice jeans and after the jeans i have my shorts and I have a couple of pairs of denim shorts and those denim shorts that I just showed you guys and then my little olive green linen shorts. And those are my pants and bottoms on the second row. So that's the top row and that is the second row. Going back to the top shelf in this basket right here are my swimsuits. I'm going to take that basket down so I can show you guys. So in this basket, I have my swimsuits and cover-ups. These are all cover-ups. On top, I love cover-ups. And these are my swimsuits in bikinis and I've amassed a large collection over the years although I've been getting rid of some I still have a lot and I'm glad that I have a lot because my new apartment community has an Olympic size pool which I plan to visit very often so I'm glad that I have a generous swimsuit collection I mean very generous y'all those are some of my old Victoria's Secret swimsuits when they used to have the swim collection and I used to get my suits to go on vacation every year. That's a Miami classic, South Beach, y'all. <laughs> Couldn't tell me nothing. But yes, that is my collection of swimsuits and cover-ups. And they will be getting used a lot this summer between the pool at my apartment community and the beach. I definitely plan to go to the beach. Other than my swimsuits on the top shelf, I have my hats. Those are my caps and my fedoras. I have a camel wool one, a black wool one, which is my favorite, and a little straw one for summer. Of course, that is the top shelf of the closet. 
Under the top shelf, I have this small short shelf, and that is my sweaters and sweater dresses. These are sweater dresses right here. These are some chunky cardigans and some chunky sweaters. I am going to add some more sweaters this winter since I live upstate now, and it's colder and a lot of snow. And driving in the car, I'll probably be taking off my coat and having my sweater on while I'm driving, so I will be investing in a few more neutral colored chunky sweaters this year. Under my sweaters is another short shelf, and this shelf has space that goes all the way to the floor. So this is where I store my skirts and my dresses, and that's that mini skirt that I just got from Target. And I have like a meaty pleated skirt, a meaty satin skirt, and I have a bunch of dresses. I love my satin slip dresses. They're my favorite. Some little party going out dresses, some maxi dresses. Those are the long sleeve dresses for fall and winter. And then I do have like a cream duster, which is my favorite. It's not with my blazers because it hangs long. But it's back there. This is a vintage Bob Mackie dress that belonged to my Nana. I haven't been able to wear it yet, but it's in my closet for an occasion. I'll probably have to get it tailored because it's a bit too big. And then my mink coat that I inherited from my Nana, I also keep stored in my closet. And yes, that is my dresses and my skirts in a little corner under the sweaters. So on the right side of my closet, I'm not actually utilizing the shelving to hang anything, but I put a makeshift dresser in that space made out of an eight cube storage bookcase. So you can see the other cubes back there. And on top of the bookcase, I have my jewelry boxes with some jewelry and odds and ends in them. And I have my sunglasses case. That has my sunglasses stored in them. I have my watch case back there in my small but mighty perfume collection. One of my favorite fragrances ever, which was Discontinue Victor and Raw Flower Balm. I use it sparingly since I don't have a lot left. Gucci Rush, which was my Nana's favorite, and it's now one of my favorites. Um, Zara Ebony Wood. Marc Jacobs Lola, which was also discontinued, but I love it. It's very strong. I usually only really wear it in the winter. What else do I have here? Kenzo Whirl. Arlesian by L'Occitane. This, is this the one? Which one of these smells like a uh, flower bomb? La Vie Belle. I'm probably messing that up. I always tell y'all, French ain't my language, so this is the one that kind of smells similar to Flower Bomb, so I have a little backup. Let me just make sure I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's the one. It smells very similar to Flower Bomb, so if you love Flower Bomb and you don't have no more, that is the fragrance for you to try, and that's from... Who makes this? Is it Lancome? I think so. But that's my little perfume collection. And then I have this jewelry stand to store the jewelry that I'm wearing right now. My hoop earrings, some necklaces. I have some of my necklaces and earrings on right now. My nameplate. I had that nameplate since I was 12 or 13. My dad bought it for me for my junior high school graduation. And some huggy earrings and studs. But that's what I have stored on top of the storage bins. Now I'm going to show you guys what's inside those bins. The top shelf, I have bras stored in here. And most of my underwear, about 95% of them are black, but I do have some browns and neutrals. And in the bra bin, I also have some lace bodysuits that I wear outside under blazers and whatnot. And then I have underwears stored in here and store it with the underwear I also have shapewear in there as well and I have socks stored in this bin 
And then all the way to the far left, there's like winter accessories stored in that bin. On the next row, I have pajamas in my pajama bin. It's very limited right now because I just tossed a lot of pajamas and I need to re-up. And then this is my tops in the next bin. And I have, let me show y'all what I have in this bin. Because that is all my tops aside from the ones that's hung up. In this row, there's body suits and crop tanks and tank tops. And then the next row is all t-shirts and some more tank tops. Then the last row is turtlenecks and mop tops. And everything in this row is long sleeve. And that's like a long sleeve sheer turtleneck. But everything is organized by sleeve length and the type of top. Like those are all body suits. Then that's a tank top. Those are crop tank tops. These are all short sleeve tees. Then they're organized by color as well. That's cream. These are black. These are all white. Those are basic tank tops. And then that's the long sleeve. Actually, these two are three quarter. That's a cream one and a camel one. And then all of these are long sleeve turtlenecks. And that's how I organized my basics. And I was able to squeeze everything in one bin by folding them tightly and splitting it into threes. That way, when I'm looking for a top, all I have to do is pull out the whole bin. And I know what's in each row so I don't get confused with my turtlenecks and my body suits. So it was very easy for me to just pull out a top all year round and when I wear stuff and I wash it and I fold it up it's very easy to put it back in its place when I'm organizing my closet this next bin is my workout clothes and graphic tees so this there's a couple of random leggings back there that I wear around the house but these are all workout clothes and these are my graphic tees and some tank tops that I wear around the house. And last but not least, in that last bin in the back, I have my sweatshirts, which get a lot of use, especially in the winter in my apartment. It's kind of cold, so I throw them on with leggings when I'm just chilling in the house. And sometimes I wear them outside as well. So on my right side of the closet is my little bag collection and that's all of my bags on the bottom row i have my summer bags this little straw tote and this black woven tote this is a little cheapy tote from amazon this came from zara this straw or rattan crossbody bag a friend of mine got it from me from bali they hand make them out there so i have that and this little gold handbag is from this black old brand called Alar November and I've never worn that it's so cute I got it in a gift bag and I cannot wait to wear it this summer next row is my Brandon Blackwood bags I have one of the original Kendrick trunks that was supposed to be chocolate brown is not quite chocolate brown but I kept it because the color matches my wardrobe good and then I got this ESR or anti-systemic racism tote in the black apple leather which is a faux leather and I got this in the last round of bags I actually think he made a lot this time so I believe they're still available at least they were when I last checked and there's a detachable crossbody strap on the next row are some coach bags. I have this cream dome satchel. The actual color I believe is called chalk. And I have this gold bag, which is one of my favorites to wear. It has a crossbody strap, a chain crossbody strap that I can take off. And I do wear it with the crossbody strap. At least I did in New York City when I was out and about. But I like to wear it handheld. And when I'm driving, I'll probably be wearing it handheld more often on the next shelf that's my vintage gucci joy boston bag and i have this coach quilted clutch it's actually a crossbody it has a gold strap I'll open that up so you can see the strap there's a gold strap and I love it because it reminds me of the YSL bag at a fraction of the cost. I got it at the outlet 
on sale last spring for an amazing price and I really wanted one of these quilted crossbody bags and I'm glad I found that coach one. My vintage Louis Vuitton pochette and Damier Azure. And it used to be this bag, this brand called Golden Blue years ago. I was like heavy on the purse forum and I used to keep up with brands and it used to be this brand called Golden Blue that made dope bags and this was a pouch that connected to a bag I had. I wore the bag to death and it fell apart and that brand went under, I believe. And that is my Nana's Vintage Gucci Ophidia bag. I had broke the strap and I fixed it to be able to attach a gold crossbody strap. But recently, one of the sides broke off again, this side. So I think I might actually completely take the sides off and just wear it as a clutch. But for now, she's just sitting pretty. And on the top shelf, I have this black leather dome satchel. And... A black leather Kate Spade Boston style bag. Can't remember the style name right now, but um, if you guys look at my bag collection video, you'll see more on these bags. And this is my Kate Spade camera bag, which I was wearing just the other day. So it's hanging on the side. It has my stuff in it now. I actually need to clear her out and go over her with some leather conditioner because I scratched her the other day. Leather conditioner, clear that right up. On the side of my bags, I have this little hanger for my belt collection, and it hangs nicely on the side, not in the way, and I'm able to see all my belts clearly and choose the one that I want for the day. To the side of the bag shelf, I have this little stool that I pull out. If I need to stand on it and get something on, on the top shelf, I definitely have to use it for the other closet, which I'm about to show y'all in a minute. But my niece got it for me for Christmas years ago, and I use it. And on the very bottom is my hamper, which is just a large cotton rope bin that fits under the shelf. And I'm able to throw my laundry in there, and it holds just enough for me to not have to do laundry for a couple of weeks. Although, I do laundry kind of often since the laundry is literally right next door to my apartment. Well, I have a neighbor, and then next to the neighbor is the laundry room, but very easy to get to in 30 seconds, so I do laundry pretty often. Hanging on the door, I have my kimonos. Oh, that's my bonnet I wear at night, but this is my little kimono collection. I actually love kimonos, and I have this tail one from Amazon. Remember, I'm going to link everything that's still available, and then I have this one, which I love, which I got years ago from Boohoo. I don't think they make that anymore. And then this was the popular blogger kimono from Shein. And they don't make that one anymore either. But those are my little kimonos. And in the bottom of my closet, to make it nice and cozy and for decorative purposes, I have this rug. I absolutely love this rug. And it's a very popular rug right now. Like a lot of people have the larger one in their living room. I personally wouldn't get the larger one to put in a space because if you have a vacuum, it's hard for the brush rolls to go over this rug. So it's hard to actually vacuum the whole thing. Even just this little one that's in my closet is hard to vacuum. So I would stick to the smaller ones, but I love the way that rug looks in the space and that is my small but mighty walk-in closet jaw nice and organized not too stuffed everything in this place and a place for everything now i'm going to show you guys my other closet so here is my other closet guys it's right on the other side of the wall to the of well, your standing this way to the left of my other closet and my closet spanned this whole wall of my room but let me stop rambling and show you guys what's inside my other closet yes i have closets two closets plural <laughs> So in my other closet, I store my jackets and some coats. I do have some longer, heavier coats stored in my front closet, but like my denim jacket, my leather motorcycle jacket, some wool blazers, I have a denim trench, my other trench coat, my camel wrap coat, and some shorter winter coats like my four fur bomber and my faux leather puffer coat. 
those are all stored in this closet and I like the fact that I get to keep the outside jackets separate from my clothes because you know outside jackets are outside I don't really want them touching my clean clothes and I don't have to worry about getting them out the front closet which would be okay too but since I have this extra closet in my bedroom that's the way I keep my coats and this jacket right here let me show y'all this jacket my aunt had this jacket custom made for me when I was in junior high school, and I can actually still fit it. Let me put it on and show you guys real quick. I haven't worn it in years, but I might get it clean and bust it out this fall. It's a dope jacket. Custom made, cut to size, when I was like 12 years old, and here I am at 40. <laughs> I can still fit it, y'all, and it still fits the same. Which is crazy because I was smaller when I was 12. However, I probably was about the same size on the top. I was smaller on the bottom. I had less hips and booty. But I, my boobs probably been the same size. Yeah, since I was 12. I think I've been wearing the same size bra, y'all, since I was 12 years old. Hey, I used to be embarrassed about being on the itty bitty committee, but... I ain't no more. It is what it is. And I could wear tops like this with no bra without having to worry. But anyway, yes, that is my coats and jackets. Then y'all know what else is in this closet? Shoes. Let me show y'all my little tiny but mighty shoe collection. So on the very top shelf, which I need that little stool to reach comfortably, I have my little short kids Uggs. My leather Converse's and the rest of my little sneakers. I have the Adidas Samba Rolls, some Adidas Boots running sneakers, and the Fenty Puma patent leather sneakers. Small but mighty sneaker collection. I'm not a collector, but I do like to have comfortable sneakers when I want to put them on. And in the bottom of the closet, I have some shoe racks from my shoe and boot collection. Very small. I used to have a crazy amount of shoes, y'all. Notice I don't need all those. Let me show y'all what I have in here now. So on the top row are my boots. And those are my Doc Martens, which I wear to death in the fall and winter. And some ankle boots. And those are some Miha boots. And I have a pair of Thaha boots, which I will be getting rid of this winter and fall because the heel feels unstable. And I done had my fair share of wears out of them over the years. And I'm going to replace them with some leather Miha or Thaha boots with a comfortable heel. The next couple of rows on the left hand side are my summer sandals. And I love a basic ankle strap sandal with a simple strap across the foot. Very simple, yet chic goes with everything. And this is the Sam Edelman Patty sandal. I don't think he makes these anymore, but these are my favorites because the heel is not too high. So I have that style in black snake skin and an animal print. And I wish he would bring them back so I can get some more. And I have those lace-up sandals, the knees of my mules. These are like my everyday work mules in the summer because they're so comfortable. And these sandals I couldn't pass up on. These are Jeffrey Campbell. That heel is so chic and sexy. And they're actually comfortable. So I couldn't pass those up when I spotted them on sale. And... On the bottom row are just little flat sandals. I have a couple of more pairs around the house, like one at the front door, one in the patio that I'll be just grabbing and wearing. But I am going to add at least one more pair of cute leather flat sandals. There I have some pumps and some mules. And then I have my coach leather loafers. Reminds me of the Gucci loafers. And my Sam Edelman loafer slides. And I have some patent leather Oxfords back there. And those are all my little shoes. I do want another pair of leather flat sandals. And I like a nice pair of platform sandals. And then I don't really need any more shoes because I have shoes for every single outfit I can possibly think of wearing. And I didn't mention my little change jar. I'll be forgetting about it, but I only put silver in this change jar. And the goal is to fill it up. And when it gets all filled up, I should be able to go on a nice trip with it. And actually putting just silver in it, it might be more than just a trip. It might be a nice chunk 
to put in savings, but I have to remember to actually put change in that jar. And now that I'll actually see it before it was tucked in the corner somewhere, but now I see it every time I open the closet. It's just a matter of actually using cash and getting change to put in that jar. But yes, that is my other closet, y'all. Yes, my other closet. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul and my closets, plural, closets tour. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I link everything that's available for you guys. And if there's anything that's not available, I'll link something similar. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll do my best to answer them. And I will see you guys next time.